Greetings, Thompson School District retirees. This is Mark Schaefer, proud superintendent, and I have a special message for you as you uh, embark on your final days here with our school district. Um, who would have thought at the start of this school year that your final year in our school district would have been so complex and different and unique? And um, these are unprecedented times, as you know, and certainly the way we began the year is very different than the way we ended the year. One thing we know for certain, though, is that your contributions, your collective contributions here for the school district have been extraordinary. And we could not be so deeply grateful and appreciative of everything you have done in your long careers. And whether you've started your career here in the Thompson School District or you're ending your career here in the Thompson School District, we want to thank you. So this is a day to honor you and uh, we'll be saying some really nice things about you. Um, but please know on behalf of our seven member elected school board, our 16,000 students, our five communities, thank you. Thank you for all that you've done to make this an incredible district. You will be missed. On behalf of the Thompson School District Board of Education, I want to congratulate you on your retirement and extend our deepest thanks for a job well done. I think it's safe to say that none of you ever imagined that your career at Thompson would come to a close quite like this. Whether you've been with us for a few years or a few decades, you've seen some things. And whenever we've asked, you've always given 100% and sometimes even more. I want you to know that no matter your job title, you have played an indispensable role in educating our children. As the Chinese proverb says, a child's life is like a piece of paper on which every person leaves a mark. I want to thank you for your years of service to the Thompson community, and we wish you the best of everything in whatever the future might bring. Ken McNeely is retiring from Thompson School District after working at Berthet High School as the night lead custodian, then at Mary Blair Elementary as the day lead custodian, and finally at Carrie Martin Elementary as the day lead custodian. The kids, teachers, and staff at all three locations were great. It has been a wonderful experience for Ken. He will miss everyone and would like to thank Carrie Martin Elementary for welcoming him into their community, especially Jana Lewis, their fabulous secretary. Ken leaves the school in the hands of Shelley, who he thinks is a great successor. Rana Anderson is retiring after 35 years of teaching and learning. Rana has been part of Thompson School District for the past five years as an instructional coach at Winona and Big Thompson Elementary Schools. Prior to coming to Thompson School District, she spent 27 years guiding young children in kindergarten and first grade. Her greatest memories are those moments when student learning was ignited. Being able to witness that first moment when a child realizes that they can do something or that they want to know more is priceless and unique to our wonderful profession. She would like to thank the administrators, teachers, and students that she has had the honor of working beside. They will live forever in her heart. Upon retirement, you can find Rana working in her garden, tending to her bees, loving on her grandchildren, spending time with her family, and enjoying the flexibility to experience all the world has to offer from August through May. Rick Harfield is retiring after six years as a nutritional services delivery driver. He has enjoyed working with all the great people on his delivery route, the nutritional services staff, and the warehouse crew. His retirement days will be filled with family times and leisure activities. Thank you for the opportunity to work for such an outstanding team. Rick wishes everyone peace and happiness, and remember to keep your stick on the ice. Sandy Smith is retiring from Thompson School District after eight years as an English language development teacher at Winona, Ponderosa, and Coyote Ridge Elementary Schools, and as a third grade teacher at Winona Elementary. She was an elementary teacher in Nebraska and New Mexico prior to moving to Colorado. Memories of working with students, families, and staff members will stay with her and help her connected to a profession that has brought joy, frustration, laughter, and exhilaration. She is who she is, in big part today because of her experiences in each educational setting. She feels blessed to have been a teacher. She wants to express her thanks to everyone who helped shape her as a teacher, her parents, siblings, teachers, and professors, her own family and friends, and each student, parent, and staff member she's encountered over the years. Susan Hopfner is retiring after nine years in nutritional services at Monroe Elementary School. Her greatest memories are June, July, and August. 
This completed her 30-year career in food service in the state of Colorado. She hopes her new adventure will involve being able to use her passport and not having to wear a mask. She would like to thank the Monroe Elementary staff and students. Known as the Wonder Woman of Ivy Stockwell Elementary School, Catherine Murray earned the love and respect of the students as they grew through their impressionable elementary school years. She understood that every adult they interacted with in their young lives would have some influence on their character later in life. This understanding was her motivation to lead by example in all she did each and every day. As she approaches retirement with excitement for what is ahead, she, of course, has some sadness over leaving the wonderful students and staff that seem so much like a second family. But Catherine is not simply retiring. She and her husband are planning to enjoy a career of sorts as volunteers in some of America's most beautiful national parks and forest areas. She is certainly no stranger to volunteering her time and talent for public service, which was illustrated when she was honored as the first woman firefighter and EMT to drive an engine in a 4th of July parade in her previous Ohio community. Now, combined with her many skills and training, she will once again become a valuable asset to the public while enjoying a more leisurely lifestyle in beautiful locations. Next time you have a chance to enjoy a stay in a national park campground, take a look around. Maybe you'll notice Catherine helping someone have a great day. Pam Lindstone began her teaching career in Thompson School District back in 1978 and taught for four years before taking time off for the next 18 years to raise her family. When her oldest child graduated from Loveland High School in 2000, she decided to return to teaching part-time. Over the following 20 years, Pam worked at a variety of schools, levels, and positions to reach a total of 24 years in education, mostly in grades K-2. She has loved every minute of working with children, families, and fellow staff members and will miss them terribly, but has lots of plans for filling her time. Among them are spending time with her grandchildren, volunteering, genealogy, gardening, quilting, and several other hobbies. Pam feels blessed that she was able to be both a teacher and a stay-at-home mom during different phases of her life. Renee Little is retiring after 13 years in Thompson School District as a paraprofessional and instructional aide. She worked at Berthet Elementary, Turner Middle School, Centennial Elementary, Winona Elementary, and High Plains School, and has great memories of all of those schools. Renee feels her greatest successes were the connections she made with students who were really struggling, helping them overcome obstacles in their lives. She loved teaching math to intervention groups. Once, she brought in bagel bites for students having trouble understanding improper fra fractions and mixed numbers. She will miss all of her students and colleagues as she prepares to move to the East Coast to enjoy her two grandsons. Larry Shores is retiring after 29 years in education, including both teaching and administration, 15 of those in Thompson School District. His greatest memories include all of the opportunities he has had to work with students and their greatest supporters, both parents and teachers. He hopes to travel with his wife, Terry, and develop ministry as a new way for him to continue to serve. He would like to thank all those who put up with him over the years, even as they helped him learn and grow. He'd also like to thank his wife for supporting his teaching habit. Catherine Weaver, known to students as Miss Katie, is retiring after 18 years in the district. She has worked as an occupational therapist in 11 schools over the years. Most recently, she is finishing her career at High Plains School. She will miss the relationships with the wonderful staff and students she has worked with and the team of occupational therapists our district is blessed to have. During retirement, she will be spending time with her seven grandchildren here locally, taking on a leadership role with the women's ministry and her local church, and enjoying some travel adventures with her husband. For Michelle Myers, 30 years has gone by in the blink of an eye. It all started in 1991 when her husband, Mark Jackson, took jobs at Truscott and Winona Elementary Schools as their school counselor, and Michelle started to volunteer at Truscott. In 1992, she started working at Head Start, now called Early Childhood, on Madison Avenue as a bilingual teacher's aide. She saw what an awesome place Thompson School District was to work in a community that she loved. Since then, she has had two children who are grown now, find their own path, and worked in many of TSD's schools at all levels. Some of her titles have been ESL teacher, Cougar Skills academic tutor, truancy tutor, homebound tutor, and her job for the last 17 years. Family, school, and community partnership specialists, originally known as parent involvement. Marco and she love Loveland and are going to travel. So hasta la vista, baby.
Jesse Nino is retiring after 30 years in education. He spent three years as a special education teacher, 15 years as a physical and health education teacher, 18 years as a football and baseball coach, four years as dean of students, five years as assistant principal, and three years as the assistant principal and athletic director at Mountain View High School. He would like to thank all the great people he worked with in Thompson School District for his enjoyable time. His future retirement plans include golfing, hunting, and fishing. Penelope Sanford is retiring after 18 years working in the district due to being diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer. She started working as a substitute teacher at Namaqua Elementary, then worked as a faculty assistant at BF Kitchen Elementary, a computer facilitator for Monroe and Winona Elementary, and finally ended her career as the librarian assistant at Winona Elementary School. Her greatest memories were hosting the book fair, being blessed with Bailey making a book for her, and being able to share her love for books with students. Additionally, she enjoyed making cotton candy for the yearly carnival at Winona Elementary. Penelope was blessed to have students write thank you letters to give to Shy, a Black Hawk pilot. She hopes that her retirement will bring fun with family, vacations, and a good bill of health. Penelope would like to thank the teachers and principals that she has worked with for their friendship and guidance, as well as the students she had the privilege to teach, because working with students is the most rewarding job. Bridget Morris is retiring after 12 years as the school health office assistant at Truscott Elementary School, as well as seven additional years in other schools. She has had the pleasure of working with the most professional and compassionate staff one could hope for and the privilege of serving the students and families of Truscott Elementary. Bridget's best memories are of watching students as they have transformed from timid kindergartners into confident fifth graders. She would like to thank Karen Hanford and Michelle Mueller for their collaboration and friendship. She looks forward to seeing members of the Truscott Elementary family out in the community and to fishing and hiking trips with her husband. Connie Cook is retiring after 21 years as an elementary teacher in the district. She is one of the few teachers that has been at Cottonwood Plains Elementary her entire teaching career. She has seen the school building change over time, but the students are still the same, just different faces. Many of her former students now have their children at Cottonwood Plains. She does not plan to slow down once she retires with grandkids, travel, and activities to keep her active. She would like to thank all her Cottonwood Plains colleagues for all their efforts over the years to make public education the best. Susan Hoyler was a Bill Reed Middle School counselor for 19 years and also worked for a year at Truscott and Cottonwood Plains Elementary Schools. As a counselor, her own struggles and experiences taught her valuable counseling skills, patience and compassion for people working through emotional pain. She thinks that when we respond to our struggles with love and forgiveness, we move toward mending our own wounds. Her husband, Bob Campagna, and she no longer have nearby family, so they are choosing to move toward the love of children and grandkids in Iowa. Her time at Bill Reed was inevitably uh, marked by historic bookends. 2001 when the World Trade Centers and Pentagon were attacked, and 2020 with the global COVID-19 pandemic. Although this isn't the glorious farewell she envisioned, she will return to Loveland in safer times to enjoy a gathering with colleagues and friends to celebrate and bring closure to her career at Bill Reed. Becky Monchek and her husband Dan and four children moved to Thompson School District in 1992, where all four children attended TSD schools. Becky started working in TSD in 2004 as a para at Conrad Ball Middle School. In 2005, Becky started serving students, families, and staff as a gifted and talented program teacher. During the last 15 years, Becky has enjoyed the pleasure of being part of the educational communities at Ivy Stockwell, Lorraine Edmondson, Kerry Martin, BF Kitchen, Centennial, Big Thompson, and Sarah Milner Elementary Schools. Becky shares a poem she wrote. There was a teacher who couldn't wear a shoe. She had lots of GT kids, but she knew what to do. She challenged them soundly by the way she led with science and math and great selections they read. Life events happen for all folks, it's true. The teacher then pondered, what should I do? Next she decided when all said and done, it's time to move on and pursue other fun. But know from my heart now as I bid you adieu, I'm grateful for the blessings that I worked with you. Doreen Staskel is retiring after 20 years in Thompson School District as a second and fifth grade teacher at Lorraine Edmondson Elementary School. Her greatest memories are of teaching in a real classroom, looking at real students. She will fill her retirement with hiking, camping, and grandma-ing. Jennifer Bookmeyer is retiring after 22 years as a school nurse. 
She truly enjoyed her work at Thompson School District. She had the honor to work in many school buildings over the years and to know many, many wonderful staff members as well as students and families. She loved her role as liaison between staff members and students with health concerns. It was important to her to work hard to communicate essential health information for families to staff members in a clear and concise manner so that students felt safe in our schools. Jennifer was thrilled to watch students transition from being well tended to in their elementary school years to being independent advocates for their own health needs as they moved into high school. Thanks goes to her colleague of numerous years, Leslie McLean, who Jennifer feels deeply indebted to for her support and guidance as their roles evolved. Many other staff members touched her personally and professionally, and she will carry all of them in her heart as she moves forward with this next pathway in her life. Pam Svedman is retiring after 21 years as the secretary and one year as the health aide at Cottonwood Plains Elementary. She has enjoyed watching kids grow as they move through their years at the school. They come in as kindergartners looking nervous and unsure. They leave as fifth graders confident and ready for their next adventure. She will miss the excitement of the first day of school and the goodbyes at the end of the year. She hopes her retirement adventures will include traveling, home improvements, reading, spending time with family, and a lot of relaxation. She is grateful to have been able to work with such dedicated and amazing co-workers over the years and many friendships she has made along the way. She will miss all of you. Go Cottonwood Panthers! Sandy Bilstad is retiring after 23 years in Thompson School District as a full-time intermediate teacher at Ponderosa and Monroe Elementary Schools. Her greatest memories are with students she was privileged to teach and from which she learned. She is thankful for her first job in TSD in which she met her teaching partner who would become her lifelong partner now for 35 years and counting. She hopes her retirement will involve embracing an adventurous travel spirit and rekindling old hobbies as well as discovering new hobbies. She would like to thank the many colleagues she was honored to work with for their caring hearts and their laughter she experienced with them through the years. Candy Smith has spent 23 years in Thompson School District, starting her time here as a teacher of mathematics at Loveland High School. She was honored to be accepted into Thompson School District's very first educational leadership program cohort, a pilot principal preparation program created specifically for our district in partnership with the University of Northern Colorado and the Arian Foundation. She went on to become assistant principal at Namaqua Elementary for a year, spent nine years as the principal at BF Kitchen Elementary, and finally will end a very successful and rewarding career after eight years as the principal at Ponderosa Elementary. Some of her fondest memories include the many smiles, watching the light shine in children's eyes as they proudly read or share their classwork with her, the strong family and community partnerships throughout her career, and simply playing Foursquare or any other outdoor game with her students during recess. Candy is thankful for the love, support, and encouragement from the many mentors, colleagues, and friends that she has had during her time in Thompson. Most of all, she is thankful for the love and support of her two beautiful daughters, Sarah and Kayla. In addition to her volunteer work at the Loveland Public Library, retirement will find Candy somewhere in the mountains, by a lake, near a campfire, reading a book, or working in her garden. All of this will, of course, include her daughters, extended family, and many friends. Bonnie Pacello is retiring after 24 dedicated years. She started as a faculty assistant at Garfield Elementary and spent 15 years there supporting the students and staff. In 2010, Bonnie moved to the newly built Ponderosa Elementary School, where she continued to support the students and staff in the same role. The last six years of her career were spent as a paraprofessional at Ponderosa. Her fondest memories revolve around the colleagues who have become wonderful friends, the amazing and fun-loving children she worked with, and the special projects she helped make successful. She would like to thank the supportive principals she worked for, the encouraging and fun colleagues she worked with, and her understanding and loving family. Traveling and family fun will be a big part of her retirement. Bonnie quotes Winnie the Pooh in saying, How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Karen Schutt is retiring after 24 years in Thompson School District. Karen started teaching later in life after a career in banking and did her student teaching at Ivy Stockwell Elementary. She taught kindergarten, second, and third grade at Ivy Stockwell Elementary and spent the last 13 years as an instructional coach at both Ivy Stockwell and Lorraine Edmondson Elementary. Her greatest memories and joys are the relationships she built with students and colleagues. Even though she left the classroom to become an instructional coach, she never left spending her days in an elementary school interacting with kids. 
She is looking forward to spending time biking with her husband and traveling when it is safe to visit friends and family around the country. Teresa Hazard is retiring after working for 28 years as a paraprofessional, six years at Mary Blair Elementary School, and 22 years at Bill Reed Middle School. She will miss working with her students, being a part of the school family, and her wonderful coworkers, many of whom have become lifelong friends. Even though Teresa is leaving, a part of her will always be with Thompson School District. Michelle Malvey is retiring after 27 years employed in Thompson School District in a variety of roles, including working at Walt Clark Middle School as a counselor, school psychologist, and coach, Sarah Milner Elementary School as a counselor and school psychologist, Truscott Elementary School as a school psychologist, Birth at High School as a school psychologist, and the district office as RTI coordinator. She most recently has been the principal at Lincoln Elementary School and has been deeply impacted by the Leopard community. She has many fantastic memories from each setting and has built lasting friendships along the way. Michelle looks forward to traveling, spending time with her family, and enjoying the outdoors in her retirement. Pam Nipshire is retiring after 28 years as a classroom teacher, elementary counselor, and school psychologist in Thompson School District. Pam started in the district as one of only five elementary school counselors because elementary counselors were funded from building full-time equivalent numbers, not from the district. She is so happy to see the growth of mental health support for students, parents, and staff in Thompson School District. She has too many wonderful memories through the years to pick any one particular time to share. Pam would like to thank all the fabulous kids, staff, and parents she has had the privilege to work with through the years. Steve Johnson is retiring after 31 years as a high school science teacher, 29 years of which were in Thompson School District. His greatest memories are of his students and his relationships with them. He would like to thank most of his students over the 31 years of teaching and the countless amazing teachers with which he had had the pleasure of working. Judy Kristoff is retiring after 30 years in the district. She taught students with moderate to severe disabilities for the first six years of her career at various schools. She has been at Walt Clark Middle School for the past 24 years teaching primarily seventh grade literacy. She has been active in Thompson Education Association. Her greatest memories involve working with the most wonderful and supportive people around. She has had the opportunity to teach many great students and some of their children. She plans to do some substitute teaching, travel, spend more time with family, and perhaps even pursue something that involves working with animals. She would like to thank all of the great people in Thompson School District. The relationships that she has made in this school district mean the world to her. Kathleen Flock has spent her whole teaching career of 31 years in Thompson School District at one school, Mary Blair Elementary. She taught second through fifth grade and various combinations of that, but her favorite was third grade. Kathleen feels blessed to have had Mary Blair as her second home all these years, experiencing its changes, sending her own two children there, and working with so many different and amazing teaching partners, colleagues, principals, families, and most importantly, kids. She will miss teaching a lot, but is excited for the next chapter in her life. Linda Hewitt is retiring after 32 years of teaching. 30 years were in Thompson School District and two years were in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Linda was at Mary Blair Elementary for eight years and at Lucille Irwin Middle School since its opening 22 years ago. She also coached girls softball at Loveland High School for 16 years. Her greatest memories are the students and teachers who she has worked with over the years and winning the state softball title in 2004 with an amazing group of young ladies. She hopes her retirement adventure will involve sunshine, travel, friends, and family. She would like to thank her family, who has always loved and supported her, and give a huge shout out to the friends she has been blessed with along the way. Linda feels like she has been blessed beyond measure working in a job she has loved for 32 years. After 40 fantastic years, Jennifer Veach is retiring. She began teaching in Great Bend, Kansas, before returning to her home state to teach in Loveland. Jennifer has been fortunate to teach kindergarten through fourth grade and special reading. Her greatest memories will always include the smiling, giggling, crying, angelic, and devilish faces of all the people with whom she has worked. Education is never boring and every day is an adventure, especially with kindergartners. Jennifer would like to thank all of her students, parents, grandparents, principals, support staff, and colleagues. They have been amazing and she will miss them. Upon retiring, Jennifer plans to complete her bucket list of items, including seeing all 50 states, of which she only has six to go, and visiting all of the Canadian provinces, of which she has only one remaining. She bids a farewell to all. <music>